Welcome guys to Let's Play Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. This is Tarsius and Adam Magic. So um you guys probably wonder like why are you guys already at um Pulse of the Dead level 2? Um the reason behind it is that before we uh do this episode, we already like tried to find all the waypoints and so if you guys will not well, watch us like kill a bunch of monsters just to get here and here because that's like a waste of time. Yeah, exactly. As you can see on my screen right now, we have the Far Oasis and the Lost City as well. Just that way you don't have to watch us wander around mindlessly trying to find these waypoints. Yeah, because you don't want to watch that. Yeah, I know. Me, myself, you know, if I'm not going to watch it, I don't want anybody else to. So, yep. Pretty much, but we did do a little leveling as we were trying to find these places. Yep. I'm it's just, like, oh, sorry. <laughs> it, it's just sad that um, even though we already explored the area, um, the map is not safe. Yeah, that's the only problem with online, and even you know, on single player, if you go, you know, it's like you go from nightmare to hell or any of the other ones, your whole map for all of them are all different now. Yeah, and also, um, Diablo three is almost out. Like one more month. I mean, 30, 30 days left or something. Uh, yeah, it's like, yeah, actually it's uh, 36 or something like that. I know the Reddit counts it down, they have a thing on it. Oops. And it's like, you know, yeah, it's just right around the corner. Either way, we're right there. For all, oh. you, <laughs> for all those of you who are watching my Diablo 3 play, that's actually been getting up there. Just about to kill the Skeleton King. Yeah, and um, when you're about to kill the Skeleton King, every, everything was resetted, right? Yeah, but you keep your level on your companion. Well, we found the way back to level 1. Now, where's yeah. this cube? The cube is in level 2, right? Yeah, it should be level 2 or level 3. That's kind of sad, I already forgot. Yeah, um, if you guys yeah. wonder why we already forgot um, what what it is because um, last week we did a bunch of pre-recording. Yes. So we're kind of a little off on exactly where we were, but okay. This yeah, it looks like it's just straight where you're going. Yeah. And also, guys, um, in my um, Diablo two series in my own personal channel, um, I'm on Act five now. Oh yeah, he's getting up there real quick. Hopefully we can get up there too. I mean, this is like, you know, you've been seeing it's releasing daily, or this is trying to. I am. Yeah, uh, because my goal is try to finish um, Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction before the uh, release date of Diablo 3. Yes, that would actually be very nice. Because my plan was this. Um, I'm going to do a daily upload for single player for... Um, Diablo 3 and at the same time I'm going to do a upload for Diablo 1 as well. Oh nice, you're going to do Diablo 1 too? Sweet. Yeah, because you're going to have like get a free one, right? I believe so, yes. Oh wait, did you say Diablo 1 or Diablo 3? Ja Diablo 1, you're going to get like, a free one if you do, if you get the uh, collector's edition. Oh, the cl oh, that's right. I still need to see if I'm going to get that or just the regular one. I mean, the collector's edition seems really awesome. Whoa. Yeah, because you will get this um cool um headgear. I mean, not headgear, but a, a Diablo uh, skull. <laughs> that would actually be really worth it. And then you will get some free soundtrack as well, so that's pretty good. Do you get any artwork with it? Yeah, you could get some artwork and maybe some posters. Oh, nice. So yeah, they actually kind of try to hook you up with it a little bit. Yeah, and besides, it's only like what a uh, hundred bucks, and the uh, regular um, price without the color edition is like what sixty dollars. I believe so, so. Yeah. So why don't you just buy the uh, color edition? Yeah, you're just gonna add like forty dollars on it. But is uh, did they do the same thing like what they did for uh, Wow for uh, Cataclysm like? You're only able to get the collector's edition for one day. It was open, and after that, you couldn't get it unless you got it off eBay or something. Oh no! You could uh, 
pre-order it right now. Oh, okay, nice. Because I remember as soon as that went up, I tried to go to GameStop and I'm like, nope, we already have 600 orders for it. I'm like, you gotta be joking me. Because you had to like pre-order it like one month before the release date so they could save some spot for you. Exactly, yeah. So I guess we were wrong. I guess it is on level 3 considering we are there now. Yep. I can't wait to um, transmogify. I'm not transmogify. <laughs> <laughs> Let's transmute it. Yeah. yeah, I need to get rid of all those... Uh, or combine all those gems and uh, what do you call them? Yeah, um, re rejuvenations. rejuvenations. That's it. That's what I was. That was what I was looking for. Yeah, because we're probably gonna use it against um, Juriel here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be carrying almost all mine on me. I'll probably be of little use. I'll probably have to use my race spec for that fight just to make sure I have all my summons and everything set up. Hopefully we can get 24 before we get there. I think that's our goal. Yeah. But I guess we had to like do a leveling before we hit like level um 24 on this one. Yeah, because that would just make the whole thing faster. I mean, my Decrepify will slow him down to where you'll be able to get some good hits on him without him actually smacking you around. And my summons might live longer than two seconds. And also, I I still need to get a better gear. My gear right now is sucks. Oh yeah, same here. I mean, I have that one nice wand, but that's about it. And here we go. We found the uh, oh very cube. nice. Oops, wrong key. Oh, die! Come on, die! <laughs> Come on, corpse explosion! There we go. Something die around him. Oh, hard um, leather armor right there. There's my cube. Give me my cube. Quest completed. Yay. Nice. Pick up some of the stuff. Pick up my... There's also some spike shield right here. Yeah, I have all this small crap in my inventory. I'm just trying to put in this thing until I can pick it all up. There we go. Portal. Sell some Let's see what all we got here. What's up, Kane? Yes. Yep. Got a cube. You have a quarter treasure there. Finally, things are going to start making sense here. Good day. I also picked up a tower. No. Tower room. Stay yeah, look at all this juice. Stay well and listen. Stay a while, let me listen to me babble. Ah, good job, Lord Gord. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I have no clue whatsoever. And, yep. Yeah, we are going to... Uh... Also, one of the guy um, comment on my Diablo 2 video, and he said that um, Players 8 doesn't give you like a better chance of getting a better loot? Uh, it does. I mean, if you actually go to their, their website, they'll tell you it's just increased just like everything else is. But for me, I I get like a better chance of getting like a better gear. Like, as you can see, um, I just kill a random mob and I get like cannot be frozen um, gear at all. Like, doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I'm, you know, it, it's all, it's off the random charts. You know, you can get like a Stone a stone or Jordan ring that gives you plus one all skills off of just a normal little monster in Act One. Then you can have over a thousand magic find and not find anything but blues. So I'm, I guess I'm just lucky then. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, you know, the magic find helps, but in the end, it's just luck. The more people you have in your games, which also the player eight helps with, and then also the more you do it you know, actually go in there and fight and kill the main bosses, you know, like Diablo, Mephisto, Baal. They'll start getting more and more stuff to drop. Yeah. So anyway, guys, um, we are going to uh, end this episode here. Yep. And we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and yep, have a good day.